I am Vasha Sokolowska and I'm taking you through my creative alphabet. I stands for islands. The uh, series of um, color photographs that uh, I made in 2019 um, dedicated to Agnes Martin. Um, Agnes Martin uh, made a very beautiful series of white paintings called The Islands uh, and uh, many years prior to that in uh, 1961, the year I was born, she also made uh, a painting called The Islands. Uh, so <clears throat> the title was actually quite appropriate from, for my, uh, my series of images dedicated to them. Um, I tried in my uh, images to refer to Agnes, Martin, uh, Agnes Martin's paintings and for that reason I used uh, a square format which uh, Agnes Martin always used and I also like uh, uh, photography in, uh, in square format mm, and I also uh, try to use very subtle delicate hues uh, which is something that uh, Agnes Martin uh, was uh, very well known for. Uh, in terms of composition I try to keep uh, horizontal uh, stripes of sky, water um, and uh, the horizon, which is uh, again something reminiscent of the composition of many of Agnes Martin's uh, paintings. Even though Agnes Martin was an abstract painter, um, her paintings uh, did not represent or suggest uh, any, any spatial reality. Uh, unlike my photographs where um, there is uh, water and the horizon and the sky and in the middle of it all uh, there is a uh, there is a, a an island or uh, in one photograph a few islands um, I've always liked uh, traveling to islands I've been to quite a few and uh, uh, some of them were very very special like um, Holly Isle in Scotland um, to which I devoted one of the earlier episodes of my creative um, uh, alphabet uh, I find islands very attractive because they are so um, solid and uh, in their identity and, uh, and very independent and very self-contained. Um, they are surrounded by, uh, uh, by water, uh, they are far removed from the continent and all its upheavals. Uh, they are very well sort of aligned with who they are and where they are. Uh, they are a very good way, a very good place to observe from rather than uh, participate uh, in action that happens in the world. Uh, so um, uh, islands are kind of a place of calm and, and being centered. Uh, and 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 they carry with it uh, with them a sense of equanimity, which I think is a very good um, uh, thing to have, very good quality to have, and and uh, something I really value. Uh, uh, sort of observing rather than participating, um, considering opinions being just opinions rather than uh, kind of full on beliefs. Uh, uh, that uh, we identify with. Um, islands um, or being an island is also uh, something I, um, I value sort of psychologically uh, in a sense that uh, um, I think there is a part of our identity of our being uh, which does not really depend on the interactions and activities but uh, uh, it's something that it's quite uh, uh, unique and quite balanced. If only we could access it. Uh, of course, you can access it from through uh, med meditation or or prayer or even isolation. Uh, and I think the uh, recent, most recent lesson of 
of um, lockdowns that happened all over the world uh, gave um, people a very good opportunity to explore that side of themselves uh, when people were just disconnected from uh, um, all the activities and uh, um, and relationships that uh, constructed their uh, life and suddenly found themselves just with themselves and very few resources uh, that they could rely on and uh, it was a perfect opportunity to look inward and find a sense of stillness, an island-like sense of stillness mm, uh, and of course unfortunately for many people it, for many people it was um, kind of more about mental illness rather than finding stillness uh, but perhaps some kind of good things uh, come out of it in uh, longer terms, I hope. Uh, one of the uh, kind of pleasures uh, of my experience of making um, the series um, uh, of photographs of uh, islands uh, was coming across um, a quote from uh, Rainer Maria Rilke's poem uh, called The Island. Uh, in the um, magazine published by a friend of mine uh, from Sydney Uni, Tony Macris, who is a, uh, an acclaimed uh, Australian author now, uh, he published a literary magazine called Active Reactive. And uh, in this magazine, uh, my, some of my photographs, my pinhole photographs from two um, series, Solaris and uh, Interior, were included. And as an introduction to um, these images, I chose a fragment of Rilke's poem, The Island. It was 1993. Um, and I don't really remember why I chose this poem. Uh, I wasn't particularly interested in, uh, in photographing or taking, taking photos or, or making a, an art on the subject of the islands at that point. Uh, but clearly um, the seed was already planted there. Um, and it took many, many years to kind of surface up and germinate and grow into uh, my series of eight uh, photographs called the islands.